Okay guys, welcome back to tutorial number 11. Now, one of the most common areas of error in JavaScript is the use of this keyword inside functions. Now, I know it's always a tough task to explain anything related to this keyword, but I'm going to try my best not to confuse you with this one. <laughs> so let's start off with an example. Let's have a variable employee, which is going to be an object. So, and let's have a property. This is going to be ID one. And let's have a function property. So greet function. And let's console, console dot console. Yeah, console dot log this dot ID. Now let's go ahead and call this employee dot greet. So our expected output, this dot ID should be ID one. So in our console one, and that's what we get. So far, so good. Now let's say we want to display this console dot log or this dot ID after one second. So let's wrap this inside a set timeout function. Set timeout. Now set timeout is going to take first parameter as function and second parameter is the time. So we want thousand seconds, thousand milliseconds or one second. And let's go ahead and paste this inside the curly braces. So all we have done right now is move this console.log within a set timeout function so that it is called after one second. So let's save this and see what console is. It says undefined. And why is that? So when you have a function, it is going to create its own context for this keyword. So this keyword right here is bound to this function over here. It does not have the context of the outer function. So this does not have any value within this function and hence is undefined. Now to have a workaround, we would have something like variable self is equal to this or variable that is equal to this and then replace this with self and save this and you get the value one. So by creating another variable, we are saving the context of this keyword from within this function and we, and we are using that context over here within the second function. And that's how we were working so far in JavaScript. But now with arrow functions, there is an easier way. You just have to replace a regular function with arrow function and you're going to get the desired behavior. So I'm going to replace function with arrow function and we can go ahead and remove this and replace self with this. So let me save this, refresh and one. So how does this work? Now, whenever you use an arrow function, it is not going to create its own this. So this is going to be referring to its parents this, or in fact, this dot ID will be from here and not its own value. So whenever you want to uh, use the this keyword from the execution context, make use of arrow functions. But if you really do want uh, a separate this for the function itself, then do not use arrow function, use a regular JavaScript function. So to summarize about arrow functions, we have two benefits. The first one is we are reducing the amount of code that we write. And the second one is we are solving the problem that is caused by using this keyword inside a function. So that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.